Hi everybody, this is Connie, and I am here to show you my new coloring book that I got from the Dollar Tree the other day. It is Creative Coloring for Grown-Ups in Beautiful Patterns. As you can see, wherever this was sold at before was bargain priced at $7.98. I got this for a dollar. I don't know what the um, original price on this was, but I got it for a dollar at the Dollar Tree. And here is the back of it. Let me turn this around so I can read it and see what it says. Indulge and explore your creativity with this gorgeous book of beautiful patterns. Embrace your inner artist and be inspired by these stunning illustrations. Hundreds of unique designs that will provide endless hours of enjoyment packed full of beautiful details to color in there is something to suit every taste and this does not tell me a pro or an original price on here so anyway there we go let's get started it's got quite a few pages so i want to get going here Here's our first page, and let's see if it tells me 2014. Lots of pretty fans. Oh, and it is double sided. This is the first time I have looked in this book. Let's see if we can get this so you guys can see this well. Got stuff piled to the ceiling over here. All right. This is beautiful though. This is very detailed, very pretty. And the pages are, are relatively pretty thick. Oh, lots of pretty shoes to color. This one here. I am not the craziest about the really dark designs like this, but um, I will still use it. This here is more my liking. I love this, this page. And this side is a bunch of flowers, I believe. Another dark page. Oh, this will be pretty when it's colored in roses. All different colors of roses you could do. My goodness. Look at that. That is gorgeous. And it looks like a bunch of, uh, like maybe a little bouquet with the, with the um, stems turned into bows. Baskets. See, I love stuff like this. This is my favorite kind of stuff right there. Birds. Almost looks like a quilt. But I'm sure it's supposed to be like the ground from below the birds. I'm not sure. Sorry about my hand. My hand, I uh, swatched some things. So, <laughs> Lots of butterflies. Hearts. Wow. Just lots of bubbles. I like this kind of stuff. It almost looks like a face. Can you see that? There's the eyes. There's the mouth. There's the nose. Oh, this is cool. I love this one. I like it when they're kind of continued on. Sometimes I almost wish that they were in like um, like a small spiral, though. But I would suspect that these are pretty easy to tear out. That is gorgeous. Even though it's dark, it's gorgeous. Use really bright gel pens on that. It's a butterflies. Oh, how pretty is that? Birds, butterflies here too. Love, love, love. Really just like line work like this, you know, that I can just lose lose my brain while I'm coloring. Well, my brain is lost a lot anyway, but you know what I mean. Like 
this. This not so much. Um, I don't know. It just doesn't appeal to me. Love this. And this. There haven't been very many here that I don't like in this. Well, now I can't say I'm real crazy about this. Just because it's so dark. Colors are harder to show up when things are so dark. The, the buildings around here. That's kind of cool. I like that one a lot. See, I love these. I mean, they're just so intricate and so detailed, but they're going to be absolute fun to color. That is gorgeous, even though it's dark. Now see, this one here isn't too bad. I don't mind um, this shade. It's not too dark. I like this one actually. Now we're getting a little bit darker again, see? Yep, too dark. And then do a lot of dark ones, I see. That's cool. That's a little bit dark, but it's, it's okay. See, this kind of stuff I can see doing with mark, real thin um, markers because the color, color saturation would be a lot better on those. So are any of you coloring and what are you coloring? If you um, have videos of you coloring or showing coloring books, I would love you to link them down below. Utensils, that's cool, I like that. This is pretty. Too dark. Markers. Markers are the only things that I can really see that would do really well on these pages. What do you guys think? Now see, this one isn't too bad. This isn't too dark. I could see using gel pens on these. That's really pretty. I, I love this, actually. It's a lot of detail, but yet I really, really love this. I like this one, too, and this one. See, those aren't terrible, terrible dark. Like, this one's pretty dark. This would be fun to do, though. Too dark. Not too dark. I guess skip the page. This one would be interesting. I really like this. Running into trouble with my pages now we're getting towards the end. This one's way too dark. See what I mean um, when it's way too dark? See how thick these lines are? That's what I don't like, I think. See these here are dark and this is bordering on too dark this part but these here the lines are half of what these are see how thick these black lines are that's and this is gorgeous but I just I don't know I could see myself doing it but it's almost like you have to color in the white spaces See, these are not too dark um, because the the black space isn't huge like the other one, like this one or this one. Even though I love the pattern, I just I don't know. Oh, look at this! This is like um, lanterns. I love this one too, actually. Umbrellas.
look like um, feathers, and I love feathers. Daisies. More umbrellas. There's my feathers. I would most definitely do this page because I love feathers. Oh, dream catchers, teapots, and we're done, I think. One more page. And there we go. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this. Um, if you have any found any of these Dollar Tree coloring books, I would love to know, and I would love to see them. So if you have them posted anywhere, Instagram, whatever, leave me a link. Just don't drop, please don't drop your link unless it's something that I asked for. Thank you so much. And if you like this kind of thing, please give me a thumbs up. It shows me that you like it and I'll do it more. I've got lots of coloring books that I could start over with and show you the pages. I would love to do that. So I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.